Planet Spark, sparking the joy of learning in children. Hello, let us continue the topic addition of four digit numbers. We have already kindled the curiosity of the child in the spark phase. Now the time is right for the child to play a learning game on additions and explore additions in an exciting way. All Planet Spark modules have these learning games for children. The teacher's role is to make sure that the child plays and enjoys the game and most importantly learns from these games. Okay, so now let's have a look at the game that the child is supposed to play on addition of four digit numbers. The game is called Exactly. This is how the game board looks like. Let us first understand the theme of the game. The theme is that you are lost somewhere in a dense forest. The only way to get out is to collect 10,000 eggs. In the forest, there is a rare and unique bird called Godot. Apart from Godot, there are certain animals as well that give you some eggs in the forest. Let us have a look at the player sheet. This is how the player sheet looks like. Remember that every game has a player sheet that the child uses to record data and responses while playing the game. So apart from the game board and the player sheet, what else is needed to play exactly? The child needs animal cards, a pawn, coins and a dice to play this game. All these artifacts are provided to you along with the student module. Now let us have a look at how the game is to be played. First, the child needs to place the game board on the table. After placing the game board, the child needs to place the pawn at the start position. You can see that there are two types of boxes on the game board. These are the checkpoint boxes and the animal boxes. Now whenever the child is on the checkpoint box, the child needs to throw the dice 4 times. The number on the dice will represent Godot's eggs. First roll of the dice represents a single egg which is 1's place. The second roll of the dice represents a tray of eggs which is 10's place. The third roll of the dice represents a crate of eggs which is the 100's place. The fourth roll of the dice represents a basket of eggs which is the thousandth place. For example, let's say the child has rolled the dice four times and the numbers are 3, 2, 4, 6. This is how the child will fill the player sheet. See how simple. Now after the checkpoint box, the child moves to the next box, the animal box. At this box, the child draws an animal card. The card will show an animal along with the number below. The numbers represent the number of eggs that animal gives you. This is how the animal card looks like. Let's assume that the child picks up this card. There are a number of eggs that have come up in the animal's card. This number, the child needs to record on the player sheet in this row. Now to find the total number of eggs, the child needs to add the two numbers. See how simple and so much fun. The same action happens on every checkpoint box and animal card box. The child throws the dice four times at checkpoint box and writes down the first number on the player sheet. The child then picks up a card that denotes another number and records the number on the player sheet as the second number. The child then adds the two numbers. Isn't that simple? The child keeps playing this game till the finish line. This brings us to the end of the game. Now we know that you're wondering, well, how am I supposed to understand these games in every module? Don't worry. We have easy explainer videos for you to understand each and every game. All you need to do is just see that video once and show it to the child as well. It is very simple. Now, after having played a learning game on addition, the child is ready to move ahead and get a formal explanation of the topic and practice questions. In the upcoming video, we will discuss the next phase of the student module. Thanks for watching.